CapCut, in my opinion, is easily one of the best video editors you can use as a content creator. Everything you can possibly want out of a video editor, CapCut has it. So here are 15 tips and tricks that you can use and need to know about when you're using CapCut to elevate your videos and take them to that next level. Tip one is turning off that default CapCut ending. If you use CapCut before, then you know that when you add your footage to the editor, CapCut automatically adds its own ending to it. And it looks something like this. And a lot of the time you might forget to delete that because it's just something that you don't really pay attention to when you're adding something to the editor. And by the time you export that video, it's too late, then you're gonna have to go back in, delete it, export it again. It's just a whole process that you don't wanna deal with. However, you'll never have to worry about deleting it again when you can just tell CapCut to never add it again. And it's very simple to change the setting. All you have to do, go to the top right, press the gear, go to your settings, and you see here the second option is add default ending. All you have to make sure is that is toggled off. And when you do that, you're never gonna have that CapCut ending added to any of your videos ever again when you add it to the editor. Tip two is converting your videos into different aspect ratios. Sometimes when you're creating a video, you're gonna wanna add it to multiple platforms, and we all know that multiple platforms means you're gonna have to have different types of aspect ratios to fit that specific platform. So if you wanna change into a different aspect ratio, all you have to do, put your footage into the editor, come to the bottom of the screen here, and you see you have the option of aspect ratio. All you have to do, tap aspect ratio, and you have all of these different options that you can use for this specific video. So it has TikTok, it has Instagram, it has YouTube, you know, you, all the options that you need for the different platforms are here for you. All you have to do, tap it, it's gonna change into that aspect ratio for you automatically. Tip three is searching for different templates that you may wanna use within the CapCut app. As a content creator, being able to plug and play certain footage into templates just saves so much time and editing that you may not have time for. So to look at the different templates, all you have to do, make sure you're on the home screen, come to templates at the bottom here, and you can just start scrolling through the templates. You see it has a for you tab, it has right now a spring break tab. You can see it has different titles for the different types of templates that are currently on CapCut. And you can see even above that, you have business videos, commercial images, these are things that are gonna help you as a business owner, if you're a business owner, and it's just gonna help you propel things forward. And let's say you have a certain type of template that you might wanna try out. All you have to do, come to the search bar, and yeah, let's just type in Olympics and see what comes up. And now you see that there are multiple kinds of different Olympic style templates just because of that was your search. We can go back and try something else. Like you see, it has trending templates right now. If we press Easter, you see there are a bunch of different Easter templates that pop up as well. This is something that's gonna save you a lot of time. Again, a lot of editing. It just makes it so simple because all you have to do is select the template and plug in whatever footage you have, whatever pictures you have, and the template does the rest of the work for you. Tip number four is using the teleprompter within the CapCut app. This is something that's personally a lifesaver for me because I do a lot of videos for other brands and it requires me to read scripts and there's no way I would be able to complete a lot of these videos if I didn't have a teleprompter because I'm not gonna spend all that time trying to memorize a long script that takes minutes to read. So the teleprompter is actually extremely easy to use. All you have to do, is come to the camera up here in the left corner and as you can see we're about to record a video within CapCut. So if we come to the right side, you see this button right here, you press that, that is the teleprompter. So if we pretended to start recording, you see it has a countdown and you see the teleprompter starts scrolling up with whatever text you have inside of it. So if we stop the video here, we can edit everything within the teleprompter as well. So if we go to the middle pencil right here, this is going to allow us to change the script. This is going to allow us to add in whatever text we need to add in for whatever we're gonna say. And we can come back up, press done. If we come to the right side, we press the gear there. These are your options for how fast or slow the words are gonna go by. So you can just change that slider right there. You see that it goes faster or slower. And we can also change the font size to really big, really small. This is something that you can play around with and once you find like a happy spot while you're doing this, it's gonna become so much easier to use. And we can also change the color of the font if we want. I just stick with white because it's just easier for me to read. And one more thing about the teleprompter is that if you grab and hold these arrows, you can move it up and down on the screen. You can move it wherever you want. 
that's also going to be helpful but depending on where you want to look at the teleprompter on the screen so when it comes to the teleprompter you can really cater it to exactly how you want to use it and that's something that's only going to benefit you and make your life a lot easier when you do have scripts that you need to read on camera tip number five is using CapCut to create ai images yes you can use your own images and create some sort of ai piece of work within CapCut. So if we come to expand and drop down the menu and we come to AI effects, that is going to take us to our camera roll. And all we have to do is select a, a picture. Um, I'll select this one. And that's gonna take us to the next step when it comes to creating this AI image. As you can see, you have a lot of different styles that you can choose from. You have oil painting, comics, CG1, CG2, surrealism. There's a lot of different options that you can use as the base for this AI image. And under that, you see we have enter a prompt. This is going to allow you to enter whatever you want for the style of AI image that you want. So whatever you want within your AI image, you type it in here and CapCut is going to do its best to create an image that fits the criteria that you typed in. So with this image, let's test it out. I'll, I'll select comics one and you know what? Uh, what do we want? I'm going to add in my own prompt. I'm going to type in anime style, uh, mustache, heart eyes, 4K quality. You know, it, let's just leave it at that and let's type in generate. So then AI is going to do its work to really create this AI image that I typed. Now, this was a very basic prompt. So, you know, you never know what to really expect when you give something basic, so the more details you give, the better it's gonna be. And as you can see, all right, this really isn't that bad to for what I typed in. It gave me an anime style, gave me a mustache. The hard eyes, eh, not really there, but it is a very high quality image as well. And you see you have this intensity slider at the bottom of this as well. So if we slide that all the way up and type generate again, it's gonna be a little bit more intense as you'll be able to see in a couple seconds. As you can see, it is a little bit more intense. And if we drop it down to let's say 16 right there, you type generate again, you're gonna see that it's not nearly as intense. It's not gonna be as AI generated, if you will. And as you can see, it doesn't even really look like anything has happened within the AI image. With this option as well, if you are on the pro version of CapCut, meaning that you're paying for CapCut, you're gonna have unlimited uses of this. If you're only using the free version, you're only gonna have a couple uses of this uh, a day. So that's something you need to be careful of if you're wanting to heavily use this tool. And something else within this that is cool is you see this button on the right side. If we tap and hold that, we can see the comparison from the old image to the AI generated image. So. That's also cool as well. And it just makes it a little bit easier when we want to modify things and change the prompt a little bit to, you know, make the photo fit exactly how we want it to look. Tip number six is using keyframes. If you've ever seen creators use a slow zoom like this or have something just flying across the screen, they're using keyframes. And luckily with CapCut, they make using these keyframes extremely easy. So if we go into our editor, we, here we go, we have a video right here. To use the keyframes, all you have to do is make sure the clip is highlighted and you see the diamond right there. If we tap on the diamond and we look at the timeline, you see a diamond appears. It's highlighted red right now. And that's going to be the beginning of our keyframe. That's going to be the beginning of our movement. So if we come to, let's say, towards the end of this clip, we're going to want to add another keyframe, which is going to signal the end of the movement. So whatever we want the end to be so if we want it to be zoomed all the way in or if we want it to zoom out or if we want to you know move the frame a little bit that's going to be where that stops so right here let's just zoom it in all the way so if we come to the beginning and we press play you see how it's starting to zoom in and then it stops when it hits that second keyframe. That's all you have to do when it comes to keyframes. It's really that simple and it does help make your videos a lot more dynamic. Tip number seven is face tracking. CapCut has the technology where if you're moving around in the frame, if I'm moving all over the place, it can keep your face in the middle of the frame. It's actually tracking your face throughout the entire video. So how do you get to that? Again, we're gonna come to our timeline here. We're gonna highlight this clip and then we are gonna scroll on the bottom to camera tracking we press camera tracking down there 
and you see you have two options we're just going to select camera tracking because that's what this tip is and you see you have different options between face body hands and custom one of the easiest things to do is just to keep it on face so if we have face selected and we look at the video itself it has a box around the face because that's letting you know all right this is the face that we want to track and if you had another face in the video if you had two people in the video you can move it over there but for this one there's only one it has it selected that's the face it's going to track so we just tap on track there we go and we press play you can see that it is face tracking there's not a lot of movement in the clip but the face tracking is working effectively and that's all you really need to do with this face tracking tool it's as easy as pressing a couple buttons and making sure that the right face is selected. Once you do that, easy peasy. Tip number eight is animating normal text. So let's go to our timeline. Let's just add in random text, uh, add text, random text. Okay, and there we go. We can resize it however we want. So right now you see we have random text. When we have that text highlighted, if we come to the bottom of the screen and we come to animations, you have a bunch of different options here. You have different fonts, styles, effects that you can use on it. But when it comes to animations, this is gonna be something that is very useful. And it, again, it's gonna be one of those things that makes your video pop and stand out just that much more and keep your audience's attention. So we can just select anything. You see laser cut. I actually like that one a lot. So you see that, and then if we come to the bottom, we can change the duration of this animation, make it really super fast a lot slower this is again these are things that really come in handy when you're editing your videos it just adds that extra touch to it so if we just press the check mark and we play through it there you go animating random text within CapCut is that simple tip number nine is adding sound effects adding a little sound effect here and there adds so much value to the video i know it's something that you may not catch all the time but when you re-watch videos and you just hear a little ding or a little swoosh here and there when maybe text pops up or something happens on the screen those add a lot more value to the video and you can do that with in cap cut as well so adding sound effects is actually a very simple thing to do so again we come to our timeline we go to audio and you come to sound effects press that you have a ton of different options when it comes to sound effects the options are almost en endless. Uh, we can just come here, we can type in whatever, like let's type in scream. And you see, you have different options of, you know, screaming sound effects. And to add it, all you have to do is press the plus sign. And then when you add the plus sign, you see that it shows up on your timeline under your video. So if we press it and play, you know, the sound effect is officially added, it's playing. It's really that simple. Tip number 10 is the draw feature. You can actually draw whatever you want on your video. And to do this, all you have to do is come to text and we scroll all the way to the right and we come to draw. And then you have different options of the lines that you can use. So let's just select one and you can change the size of the tip of the pencil essentially that you're using. And you can change the color as well if you want. Let's just go with a nice red here and you know what let's just draw a nice red fro over my head right here there we go I, now I drew it and we can just press check and if we play it through that is gonna stay on the video for as long as we set it to be and just like the normal text you can actually animate your drawings as well so again we have it highlighted we come to the bottom of the screen you see animations we press on animations and you see you have a bunch of different types of animations that you can use for your drawing so I like this order in one again that's part of the pro package so we're gonna make that slow just to see it and you can see it follows exactly how I drew it onto the frame. So if we play it through, there you go. Your drawing is now animated as well. Tip number 11 is removing the background. I know there's a lot of free background removal tools out there. Not a lot of them are great, but 
I think CapCut does an extremely good job removing the background when it knows what the subject is in the video. And to do this, it's actually extremely easy. So you just make sure whatever clip you want to remove the background from is selected. And then you just come to the bottom of the screen, you scroll, you scroll, and you have a remove background option, remove BG. All you have to do is tap on that and you have different options. Usually the one you're going to use the most is auto removal. So we type that, press that and you can see the entire background has been removed in a matter of a second. This is something that can allow you to have a lot more freedom with your creativity. You can add in a lot of different types of backgrounds when you're able to remove a background this effectively for any of your videos. That leads me into tip 12, which is duplicating yourself. If for whatever reason you're creating a video where you need two of you, two of the same you in the video, this is how you're gonna be able to do it. So we come to our timeline, we select a clip, and we're gonna to come to the bottom, we're gonna scroll all the way to duplicate. So we're gonna duplicate this clip. Then on the duplicated clip, we are going to scroll to the bottom, make sure it's highlighted we're gonna to come to overlay overlay means that we're putting this clip over whatever is on the main timeline so we come to it and we slide it over the same clip so now we have the same clip on top of itself and if we're scrolling on the video it's not gonna look like anything right now so we're gonna to come to the overlaid clip we're gonna scroll all the way to remove background we remove the background we auto remove it and again, if we were just scrolling, it still looks exactly the same. But if I come to the video and I slide it over, you see that I have the clip of me with no background, but I still have the other clip of me just in the video as itself. So now there are two of me. And if we press play, as you can see, now I have duplicated myself successfully. And you know, that's just a cool trick that you can use whenever it's necessary for your videos. Tip number 13 is using the undo and redo buttons. Apparently this is something that a lot of people don't really know about when it comes to CapCut, but with CapCut, you're able to undo every action that you've done as long as you haven't saved any of your progress so far. And to undo and redo something, all you have to do, you come to the right side over here, you see it, you have two arrows. The left one is undo, the right one is redo. So if I tap on the undo button, you see, very simple, it undid everything that I did in the previous tip. Now if I press redo, it's gonna do the same thing. It's just gonna redo everything that I just undid. Just a quick tool that comes in handy when you're making those little tiny mistakes here and there. Tip number 14 is filter adjustments. So let's say we come to our, our clip, our video, and we wanna add a filter for whatever reason, we just wanna change the look of it. So we come here, let's add in a filter. Let's add in this black and white filter. You see, as soon as I press it, the filter is added on to the video. Now to make adjustments, very simple. You see the slider underneath all of the filter options. All you have to do, slide it one way to make it a little bit more intense and you slide it the other way to make it less intense. And that is something, so if you think that, you know, the filter is doing a little bit too much, but you still really like that filter, you just drag the slider down. It's not going to be as intense, but if you want it the other way, if you want the filter to be more intense, you just slide it to the right. It's that simple. Filter adjustments, very easy and can really change the look of your entire video. Tip number 15 is avoid using the cap cut music itself within the app always use the music on whatever platform you're going to be posting your videos on. Yes, a lot of the sound on CapCut are going to be able to be used on a platform like TikTok, but let's say you use the same video, the same sound on Instagram, you might get a violation for that and the video is going to have to be taken down. Make sure when you do want to add sounds to your actual videos, leave it outside of CapCut, leave it to the platform that you're posting it on. It's always going to be your safest bet, no matter what. And there you have it. It's 50 mobile cap cut tips and tricks that you can use to really take your videos to that next level. If this was a video that you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, leave a comment, and if you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And last but not least, I'll be sure to catch you in the next one. Peace.